From the Laycock Center in Williamsburg, welcome to Football Media Day. This is Jay Colley with head football coach of the College of William & Mary, Jimmy Laycock. And first of all, coach, uh, by week this past Saturday, but a week ago, uh, the Tribe defeated Bucknell 30-9. to Congratulations. Well, yeah, it seems like a long time ago, Jay, you know, after you know the open date. But, uh, yeah, that was a good, solid win for us. I mean, it was pretty close there at halftime, and I thought our players re regrouped at halftime, came back in the, in the third quarter, and really – um, played well, both sides of the ball. Played well offensively and defensively. Uh, really forced the action, and they were not able to, to move the ball much at all in the second half, and we were able to convert some opportunities and ha even had a score on defense, which is something we'd been uh, trying to do all year. And uh, so it was a good win. It was, you know, it's much better uh, going into an open date after a win than otherwise. It just uh, makes it a little better to teach and a little better to learn and a little better to get reps and do the things you need to do. Coach, for the third game in a row, the team came out in the in the second half with your opening position and scored a touchdown. Do you attribute that to the uh, uh, changes that the coaching staff made? Well, I think sometimes it's um, the changes are, are just uh, you eliminate certain things that you don't want to do or, or not working and you kind of get a little bit more specific. And also, you look at the, uh, the players have had a half to kind of assess what the what's happening and what they're doing and how they feel so I think there's a lot of things that go into that defensively again that defensive line is just uh, racking up no incredible numbers uh, nationally ranked uh, in tackles for loss and quarterback sacks you got to ple be pleased with their progress well I think that's probably the biggest thing that has shown up this year right now as a, as a change has been the improved play there in so far as the numbers that you speak of you know so far as with tackle for losses and sacks and uh, those guys are really taking a lot of pride in that, and I hope they, uh, hope they keep on going now that we get into the conference play. Last week, the team uh, obviously practiced. Uh, the fans could take the week off from watching Tribe football. But uh, So what kind of progress do you feel like the team made? And if some of the guys that were uh, kind of banged up, healing a little bit. Well, I, I hope we made progress. I mean, we didn't want, you know, you, you walk a fine line during the open date. You don't want to overwork them, but you do want to get some reps at, a, at certain players and certain things. And I think, uh, you know, we smoothed out a few things on both sides of the ball. As we go into the, um, the, the Stony Brook game right now, we're hoping that we get Chris Durant back at uh, left tackle. We hope we get Nick Wimmer back at center. With that's still not not for sure yet, and uh, and the rest of the guys will see where we go. But uh, all the guys seem to um, seem to have gotten better through the um, through the open date, and and they're going to need to as we get ready for Stony Brook. Well, and the CAA. I'm wearing my CAA uh, Tribe shirt today, Coach, and because the CAA again appears to be incredibly loaded and incredibly even across the board. Tell us about the Seawolves. Well, you know, we played them the last couple of years and we've had some success against them insofar as wins, but it's been, it been hard fought games. I mean, we had the one up there a few years ago in the overtime and had to come from behind and, you know, they, they're just, um, they're just a physical team and they're on a, on a run right now where they are off their great start. Uh, you know, they got, I think, uh, 17, 18 stars back off of last year's team, allows them to do even more things offensively and defensively than they did last year, and they were pretty multiple then. So, again, it, it's a matter of us taking care of ourselves and matching up with them and playing as well as we can. If you're a Tribe fan or even a football fan, make it out to Zabel Stadium this weekend because the CAA provides you with some outstanding uh, uh, football uh, opportunities, and uh, it, it's Stony Brook, Coach. Expect a good crowd at Zabel on Saturday. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a great challenge, and um, it's a great place to come watch a ball game, too, so it should be, should be something.